Welcome to our Time for Twos program here at Wood Library. My friend Violet and I are ready with some stories all about sheep. So let's get started with one. I bet you know this rhyme. This is called Little Bo Peep. This version is by Paul Galdon. He also drew the pictures and it's published by Clarion Books. Now Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. But leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. Little Bo Peep fell fast asleep and dreamt she heard them bleating. That means they were going, ah, 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 ah. But when she awoke, she found it a joke, for they were still a fleeting. Then up she took her little crook, determined for to find them. And she found them indeed, but it made her heart bleed. For they'd left their tails behind them. No tails. Where do you suppose they are? Now it happened one day, as Bo Peep did stray into a meadow close by, oh, that there she espied their tails side by side, all hung on a tree to dry. She heaved a sigh and wiped her eye and over the hillocks went rambling and tried what she could as a shepherdess should to tie each tail to its lambkin. Can you see? I think they look pretty nice. And so did she. So let's do a finger play and maybe today we could have some sheep jumping on our bed. Can you get your five silly sheep in your bed? Because sheep shouldn't be in the house to jump on the bed. Well, five silly sheep were jumping on the bed. When one fell off, well, he bumped his head. And his mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more silly sheep jumping on the bed. So can you hide one? And we'll have one, two, three, four. Four silly sheep were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more silly sheep jumping on the bed. So three silly sheep were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more silly sheep jumping on the bed. So two silly sheep were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more silly sheep jumping on the bed. So that left one silly sheep who was jumping on the bed. When she fell off, oh, she bumped her head and her mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more silly sheep jumping on the bed. We're gonna have a story about some silly sheep now. This is a book called Sheep in a Jeep. That's the Jeep. It's written by Nancy Shaw with pictures by Margot Apple. And it is published by Houghton Mifflin and Company. And let's count the sheep together. We see one, two, three, four, five just like we had jumping on the bed. Beep, beep. Sheep in a Jeep on a hill that's steep. Uh-oh, the Jeep won't go. Sheep leap to push the Jeep. Sheep shove. Sheep grunt. Sheep don't think to look up front. Oh, sheep goes splash. Sheep goes thud. Sheep goes deep in gooey mud. 
sheep tug. Sheep shrug. Sheep yelp. Sheep get help. Jeep comes out. Sheep shout. Sheep cheer, but oh dear, the driver sheep forgets to steer. Oh, jeep in a heap, the sheep weep. Sheep sweep the heap, it's all in pieces. Jeep for sale. Cheap. I think they ought to go and get some driving lessons, don't you? Well, let's see if we can drive a car. Can you put your hands on the steering wheel? We're just going to do one verse. Driving in my car, driving in my car, driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. Red light. What does that mean? And when the light changes to green, what can we do? We can go driving in my car, driving in my car, driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. Red light, you better wait. But then it turns green and driving in my car, driving in my car, driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. Bye-bye. Well, our next story is about some silly sheep and the wool that they grow. Their fluffy coats is called wool and people cut it off of them at a time of year when they don't need it to keep themselves warm. And they turn that wool into clothing. In fact, my sweater today is made of wool. This is called Charlie Needs a Cloak, Stories and Pictures by Tommy DePaula and it's published by Simon & Schuster. Charlie was a shepherd. He had a cozy house, a big hat. I don't know if you can see him there. A crook and a flock of fat sheep. But everyone said, Charlie needs a cloak. Now, before we get into the story, I have to warn you to keep your eyes on this silly sheep that has the black face because he gets into all kinds of mischief. Poor Charlie. He really needed a new cloak. So in the spring, Charlie sheared his sheep. That meant he gave them a haircut. He cut off the wool using his big shears or big scissors. And they didn't need the wool then because it was nice and warm in the spring. He washed the wool and carded the wool to straighten it out. Then Charlie spun the wool into yarn. Used a spinning wheel over here. And look at the silly sheep with the spindles of wool on his back. Charlie wanted a red cloak, so he picked some pokeweed berries during the late summer boiled them over a fire, and then Charlie dyed the yarn red in the berry juice. Here it was white, there it's red. After the yarn was dry, Charlie put the strands on a loom. And every fall evening, he wove the yarn into cloth. Charlie put the cloth on the table and cut it into pieces. He pinned the pieces together. Where was the hood? Do you see who was wearing it? That silly sheep. And sewed them. And then, when winter came, 
Charlie had a beautiful new red cloak. Look out, Charlie. Somebody else likes your cloak a lot, too. Well, let's do another finger play. And why don't we do one about some hot dogs? I've got my five little hot dogs. They're cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. So four little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Three little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Two little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. So one little hot dog is cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and the one went bam. So now no little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and the pan went bam. Well, our last book is called My Friends Make Me Happy. It's written and illustrated by Jan Thomas, one of my favorites, and it's published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. They're sheep. And can you guess who those are? Well, we'll find out. Yay! Look who's coming! My friends, cried sheep. Hi, sheep. Hi, friends. Can you guess what makes me happy? Sheep asked. Let me guess, let me guess, said Donkey. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It starts with the letter F. Do you know what sound the letter F makes? Can you make that sound? Hmm, said Donkey, think, think, thinking. Fish! Fish? Don't be silly, donkey, said Dog. That's not what makes sheep happy. No, it's not fish. Wait, let me guess, said Dog. Hmm, said Dog as he thought, 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 thought. Fans! Fans, said Donkey. Don't be silly, dog. That's not what makes sheep happy. No, it's not fans, said sheep. Quack, said Duck. You want to guess what makes me happy, Duck? So Duck thought, thought, thought. Mm. Turnips! Turnips? Don't be silly, duck, said Donkey. Turnips doesn't even start with the letter F, said Dog. It's fish, said Donkey. It's fans, said Dog. Turnips, said Duck. That's not it, said Sheep. It's friends, Sheep cried. Does that begin with F? Friends, mm -hmm. my friends make me happy. Oh, well, you make us happy too, sheep. The happiest, quack. But after us, what makes you happy, sheep? It's fish, right? No, it's fans. Turnips. Oh, my friends make me crazy, said sheep. But I still think he's going to keep his friends. Are you ready for some fun on the flannel board then? Can you guess what it might be about? I hope said sheep. Let's get the board up here. And we're going to need a man. And we're going to need a sheep. What color is this sheep? Did you say black? Because you're right. 
Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. And were there three? One, two, three. Yes. Well, those are our stories about sheep today. I hope you enjoyed them. Did you like them, Violet? You did a good job picking. You want to say something to them? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> that's what sheep say. And I think that's Violet's way of saying bye-bye. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back with another Time for Twos next week.